It's been a early morning here. Somebody was on the front porch being a naughty boy at 7.30. Yep, that would have been you. Uh-huh. It's supposed to be cloudy today. Highs in the 50s. More rain tomorrow. Um, I could use a day to dry out. I feel like I haven't seen my outside kitty since... Well, a couple days ago, right? Because yesterday and the day before was raining pretty good most of the day. So I was out to feed them, of course, but not like couldn't sit down and hang with them. So I could, we could all use a day of drier temps. I've been hearing the hawks making a lot of noise the last couple of mornings. And you know, they only have one brood. They only lay eggs once a year because the, you know, it takes so long for the babies to mature. Um, so they usually got their le eggs laid by the very early part of March, at end of February. Um, so I will try to see if I can spot where they might be putting nest materials. I don't feel like I've really seen you for a couple days either. Let's go get you some attention. Come on, come on troublemaker, let's go for a walk. My camellia bush bloomed with one pretty white flower. I don't see any more, but I did fertilize it, so hopefully it'll get bigger and it'll flower more in the future. Lex was behind me, but then the girls showed up and he, he turned back to corral them instead. It's okay, as long as he's distracted and not bothering Stripe, we're good. What you think, lady? And the water is high this morning, but it's not super fast moving dangerous rushing like we've had five inches of rain or anything so i don't have to get worried about them getting caught in the current or something hey king of the yard don and i are in ruby early today we're in ruby because ruby has the transponder for the turnpike for i-540 and Jules does not yet, because we still intend to swap the plate between Jules and the yeah. GMC and then sign up that plate for the turnpike, but we haven't done it yet. It's mostly a COVID thing, yeah, kind of a holiday thing, but the DMV doesn't have their normal process right now. Anyway, we're in Ruby. It's early. It's only 12.30 a.m. It's early for dawn at least, right? 12.30 p.m. Yes. Right, 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 right. It's just after lunchtime. But it is clear enough. Yeah, we are. It, it, the, we're having more sun than they called for, so that's good. Maybe dry us out a little bit before the next round of rain comes in. No snow or ice in the forecast, though. I am having a colonoscopy on Monday. You know, yeah, us, baby. us over 50 types have to go through stuff like that. And before they'll do the procedure and let me in the facility, I have to test negative for yeah, COVID. Yeah, they're going to clean her out. I do love him, but sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> so uh, we're headed, uh, I don't know, 20 miles away to the place they told me to go to get a COVID test today. But this is not like a drive through line for the state. This is like Duke Health people having procedures done line. So I have an appointment time and um, we're not, not supposed to have to leave the car. Um, so that's where we're headed. Oh, joy. So, what, you didn't like my comments from the peanut gallery? No, I often find comments from the peanut gallery quite annoying. Oh, <laughs> but, but I've had my, I got my coffee, I got my best girl, <laughs> I'm driving a Tesla, I mean, to, and I'm not the one getting the colonoscopy. <laughs> not this time. Yeah, well they usually go through my wallet <laughs> on the way to my you know what. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> We're coming pretty close to the carry supercharger by the Target and um, eight available chargers over there. time we're masked up as requested I'm not seeing five tons of a line here so that's good I mean not that we mind waiting a few minutes but you know you're usually hopeful that if you have an appointment time 
um, you're good so to go. So they have a heater. They have lots of protection from the weather. They have a little makeshift building. They got lighting. <laughs> That's all I got to say is it hurt. It, it hurt. I let her do what she needed to do because I'm a mature adult. <laughs> but it hurt, okay? <laughs> um, she did the right side because I'm on the right side of the car. Easier for her to stick it in. Had me keep the mask over my mouth and just expose my nose long enough to do the test. Um, it was over in, she said five seconds, but actually I would say it was more like seven or eight seconds of discomfort. She said it would be like water going up your nose in the pool. I guess that chlorine in your nose not feeling good. And that's, that's, the pool water's not quite as bad. <laughs> anyway, it's over, so good. Yep, I got my co-pilot over there with the tollway responder, and you know it takes three people to drive the car. You know, because uh, <laughs> you know, Ruby does most of the driving, and I just have to supervise. And then Marianne does all the navigating and all the logistics as the co-pilot. Yeah, I get. Look this up on the phone. Plug that in on the phone. Go over here and check that out for us. I'm like, can I just sit here and play Pokemon Go? Actually, over here, there's nothing to play. And I'm just teasing. But sometimes it's like, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, obviously, we wait until we are straightened out up here. And we put it up before we go through the reader but um, not when he's getting on and off because it'll slide because it's not hooked to anything and it's upside down on purpose because that's how it goes on your window and this is the side the reader reads and this works in our car for us you know um, I don't want it up here all the time when we use it once a month or twice a month at the most for 10 minutes, okay? If I was commuting every day, I'd let Don mount it up here right. somewhere. So I've got to get some hmm, stuff for the procedure. Let's just say Gatorade and some broth and leave it at yeah, that. Yeah. And we're going to go to the Target at the Supercharger. Well, Don's going to drop me off at Target. He's going to go plug in that I'm going to let him know I'm done and he's going to come pick me up because it is a little farther in the winter you know, then probably I want to walk, um, but not super far. So anyway, we're going to the carry supercharger. Yeah, I think they need to have really nice, cheerful young people giving that test, like the girl that I had, because you wouldn't want someone that was angry or put out with you to give you that test. Y you would not. <laughs> so the supercharger is just off to the right. And like I said, it's, it's not too far to walk, but I don't want to walk it if I got packages and stuff. So I'll just message Don when I'm ready for him to drive over knowing that it'll take him a couple of minutes to disconnect get out of the car disconnect get back in the car I like the Tesla life yeah, that's right <laughs> my girl's good at it. <laughs> he even popped the door for me this is a different target than I was in the other day but all the Legos are gone at this target too that is amazing how many people must have given Legos for Christmas? Well, if I were going to buy chocolate for Valentine's Day, the one that has the black kitty on it would definitely be the one I would be buying. Very little Christmas left. I wasn't able to get everything we need, so I guess we'll try a Walmart. I let Don know I'm ready, but I'm sort of walking toward him. I could have let him know sooner, and he would have been closer. We do have a full supercharger here, although this probably would have been a reasonable spot for an urban supercharger. I'm over here at the Walmart in Holly Springs now, and they told me to get G2, which has sugar in it, but not a lot of sugar. And I really don't want G0 because I don't want artificial sweeteners. I gave those up a long time ago, and I'm not drinking them up. It'll make me sick. I'm just, that wouldn't be a good idea. And um, they don't really have what I'm supposed to get here at this Walmart either, so... Hmm. Those Norfolk sign are marked down to $3.73. It's very tempting if the cats wouldn't eat them. 
All right, I'm glad I stopped in here. The $14.97 a piece camellias are barked down to $3.75 a piece, so I got four. Don is gonna be so happy. We're at our third store, the Harris Teeter and Key Play, and I have yellow G2 lemon lime. I can deal with that. Thank goodness, third time was the charm. White-tailed bobtail fan club is here this afternoon. How many do you count, Donnie? I see three. Three, four, five. I see at least five. Well, I don't see anybody else to our right. They've already well, gone across well, the driveway. Well, the tree right here, you're yeah, seeing. Yeah, yeah, yes. Special. But I think you're safe to go is all I was saying. Oh, okay. Well. I don't think. Oh, I see them. <laughs> Hi, guys. Going up the hill. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were pretty close. I saw you were having to work hard. Thanks for washing the garage floor. Yeah, yeah. It's from me pulling in in the rain. Yeah. And so you kind of spread it out a little. Do you want me to? There's a towel in the stairwell. It, it, I've got that little pan. Okay. And um, when I get back from my run, I'll, I'll move the pan a little bit more. But it'll blow underneath the car. And then I understand. Thank you for getting rid of the puddles because there it really was a couple of large puddles. And it, like I said, it sort of washes the floor. Don's headed for his run, and I'm seeing everyone one more time, giving out attention and love before uh, it gets dark. So I think it's going on 4 o'clock. Well, you guys have enough food, Morris, that you should be uh, happy. He's just over here between the trees. Johnny brought up food a little while ago. Hi. I walked all the way up the hill to make sure Pokemon Go is right because he, he runs them for me. He hatches right. eggs. He's oh, egg hatching. I'm egg hatching machine. <laughs> Thank you. I've been out walking the driveway trying to get Tux away from uh, Morris and Stripe. And I see Slate has followed him and poor Panther's in his chair. Let me go down the steps here and get them back off panther's porch hey buddy i'm gonna remove them i'm sorry come on guys let's go i got busy pulling some weeds in the front yard and that allowed them to take a stronghold up here hi Yeah, I'm down here on the house side of the Intermittent Creek to the right of the bridge and um, just showing you the view of the water flowing from a different direction. It's not super high right now, but it's high enough to uh, make a nice running water sound. About six months ago, um, we went for a state farm insurance review and sort of after that we decided to sign up with uh, Drive Safe and Save, the app that monitors your driving, um, put a little transponder, I'm going to call it, in the GMC and see if we would save any money or not. Right. And basically rating Don's driving while he was, uh, you know, uh, to see if he's driving safe or not. Right. I was a little upset about it because it implied that he couldn't use his phone while driving or he would get dinged. And all the time when we're out together, I play Pokemon Go and have his phone up doing stuff. And so that looked like that might be a problem or we might not save as much money because I'm all the time using Don's phone. Not to mention when I'm out driving, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have it with me. Don ended up adding it also to the van and then he added it to Jules. <laughs> Right. So I'm going to let Don give you a little update on whether it saved us any money and how hard it's been to use and I guess what we're currently thinking about it. Right. Uh, Marion pretty much is accurate. Um, our insurance runs from, um, I believe it's January 26th through uh, July something. Uh, of course, uh, any other time I could put my phone Yeah, the on. year's almost split in half between January and the yeah. middle of the year, the middle of the year, and the following right. January. So, uh, uh, basically, January and in July. 
we yes. have to deal with uh, insurance. Um, uh, last uh, spring-ish uh, is when we signed up the GMC, right after that review. In fact, I think the review happened before the COVID thing went crazy because we went into the guy's office and we weren't wearing masks That's or, true. or anything. So it, it could have been like really early, like January or February. It, it, it was early because I don't remember even talking about COVID or are you going to give me a discount because I'm not driving anymore because of COVID. That never came in. So it was, it was last early last year, almost a year ago. Well, I immediately put the GMC on drive safe and safe. Um, Come uh, the renewal time, I saved, I believe it was $70. And at that point, I said, wow, I saved 70 bucks on a like um, about $200 um, insurance. Uh, so I said, well, that's a pretty good savings. So uh, that sounds good. Because, um, so I signed up. Uh, so I immediately signed up the Honda. Because um, we're not driving a Honda. Marianne doesn't hot rod the Honda. So uh, let's just sign the Honda. And I was good with that one. I and mean, she was okay with that. And then um, uh, we actually got Jules uh, before and added Jules to the policy. And I started Jules from day one with it. With the understanding was, and this I didn't tell Marianne I was signing up Jules. Uh, I figured the worst case scenario, it wouldn't save me anything but it shouldn't cause my insurance rate to go up i never i had read some stuff and nowhere did it say oh by the way um this is um only a win for you and a lose if you drive really bad so i said well i'll try it and if it is i can cancel it anytime so that's sort of the background so um we've just now uh so this last period uh from last july till uh, this end of this January, uh, end of this month, uh, those cars, the discount w was mixed because we didn't, they weren't all on the policy or they didn't have any data on how we use the car or anything. And so I have gotten emails from time to time says, please go put the odometer, uh, open up the app on your phone and write in the odometer reading. So I've sent in several odometer and it's not been that many. Uh, uh, twice I would say so I've put the odometer in a, a couple times uh, the last time I put it in was the first of December which of course it was very germane because um, I got the renewal notice here last week or so uh, for uh, have to pay it in by the end of January so they they told me that the thought uh, drive safe and sound uh, on the renewal, they never said how much money I was was going to save. The piece of paper that came in the mail. Nothing about it. I mean, a lot of paper, but no no amount how much they. But they did say that, based on the uh, with drive safe and save mileage information, your driving curves are used to determine your discount. The calculated annual mileage for the Honda was two hundred miles. Uh, uh, with safe. Uh, and save mileage information and driving characteristics for the uh, GMC was 600 miles. So they figure I'm going to drive the Honda 200 miles over the next six months, or or maybe that's the whole year. Uh, it says annual mileage, so it'd be for the year, which is, doesn't sound like much, but that's probably accurate because we we I don't know why we even have them, but I have the GMC for a reason. But why we have the Honda? Uh, he knows why we have the Honda, because I don't want to let it go, and because if I don't want to drive Ruby, that's the other vehicle. I, uh, because yeah. of bad inclement weather, that's the vehicle I feel safe sacrificing. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, drive safe and save with the Model Y, which is, of course, what you're interested in. They say my calculated annual mileage is 13,700, which is probably accurate because it's sitting at like 5,700 miles right now in five months. Although Don's not planning to drive to Missouri in the next 12 That's months right. again. So, so it's actually an inflated mileage right. most likely. But I expect that come the July 2021 renewal notice, I expect they'll probably ratchet that down because I think they're going to do it. So 
I was very disappointed they didn't tell me how much money I was saving. You made him see? hunt it. Yeah, they made me hunt it. So well, luckily, the app tells you, and Marianne's going to show you some screenshots here um, and while I talk about it. So basically, the Honda uh, uh, is um, going to save $57.98 for the next six months. So that's, you know, 100 and... Um, 15 bucks a year, 116 bucks a year uh, on that one. Uh, the GMC is, sa is again saving the same thing, $66.68, uh, which is about what I remember. I remember about 70 bucks is what I remember. And I was very impressed that out of a $200 insurance bill, I was going to save $70 out of the $200. So instead of paying $200, I was going to pay 130 bucks for the GMC. I thought that was pretty good. And the Tesla, not so good. Um, I'm going to say $3.77. <laughs> and just to say, Don and I were good. You guys know Don and I are very good with each other. But he got probably the only earful he's had from me in the last six months the day I found out he turned it on on Jules. <laughs> well, I, I, I need to say. I'm like, what if I want to floor it one time, Donnie, yeah. when there's nobody around, they're going to know. That's right. They will know. I'm like, did you do that to me, really? Right. Um <laughs> So my driving score, my two-week average, uh, it doesn't tell me what my driving score is for the last six months. It's it, the little screen, and again, Marianne, I'll show a screenshot. Uh, two-week driving score is 76%. My problem is I speed. And this thing, it only gives you eight miles per hour over... Well, and then it's easy to accidentally do it. Right, it's very easy especially in the Tesla that doesn't lower the speed limit and you're on traffic aware cruise control and you're following along with traffic I might add. And right, I, Don's I, never out there in front of everybody else. I, I'm generally speaking that I don't suffer from the leader of the pack syndrome where I've got to be out there setting, that's not me. I tend to drive along with whatever the traffic is. I do tend to uh, not slow down traffic so if the traffic's moving 10 miles an hour over I'm probably moving 10 miles an hour over so I would tell you this thing of course being GPS based and it doesn't it doesn't give you any slack as soon as it it doesn't ding you and let you know that you just got busted what it does is after uh, an hour or two after your trip is over it doesn't it isn't quite real time some trips you find out within minutes you can get your review your trip little map and it shows you all the places it busted you uh, but um, generally speaking uh, it doesn't show up sometimes it even takes to the next day in fact the trip yesterday in the van up to uh, the grocery store it didn't log that trip at all so I don't know what happened yesterday I had my phone with me so it didn't do that uh, when I first got drive safe and save I was a little concerned about making sure it was connected up but I just said it either is going to connect up and measure the trip or it's not. And I have to say it's been connecting very well. In fact, I guess I don't exactly understand why the van didn't uh, pick up yesterday. Uh, yeah, so I don't know why it didn't record the Honda. But uh, for a savings of $3.77 for the Model Y, that's not, for that amount of spying on me, uh, that's not a particularly um, valuable, that's not a significant savings. Uh, if you're going to save me in the case of the uh, Honda, you know, you're saving me um, uh, 58 bucks every six months. And in the case of the GMC, you're saving me approximately $67. And of course, I'm only driving 200 miles or 600 miles. So you're not really spying on me that much. But with Jules, uh, that's, I'm not too happy about uh, that. I tend to, um, but I'm going to keep it. For this next period because COVID as Marianne said we're not going to drive I don't see us driving a great deal so it's possible they'll adjust that mileage down and we might save more uh, so to let you know the uh, this renewal period uh, the GMC is $94 and the Honda is $92 so you can see in the case of um, uh, saving, it's like half the premium almost uh, uh, well over a third of the premium uh, or more 
Uh, the difference between, uh, I guess, if I added uh, fifty-eight dollars to ninety-two, let's see, it'd be a hundred. Difference between one hundred and fifty bucks and ninety-two bucks. So that's that's enough of a savings on those cars that we're not driving a lot. All right, so back to safe and save. As I said, I don't. When I first got it, I was trying to make sure that the, it was connected up to the phone, and I quit doing it. But um, it it has I based on the few times I've checked it because it, it keeps a running history. I can look at all my trips for the last six months. You know, it shows a map um, and it tells you your destination and it shows you all the little events like you were speeding here uh, and you can zoom in on that and it'll actually show you where you were speeding along the road. So if you happen to know that that's a section of road that you speed on, you, you can pretty much understand. It doesn't say how bad you were speeding it just simply says you were speeding it also monitors phone use but it says it does not ding you for phone use because it realizes other people in the car may be using your phone which of course is a big deal uh, for us because Marianne is always uh, holding my phone to play Pokemon as, as, as I drive along so uh, my thoughts on drive safe and save I told Marianne that I was just going to drive the car with the exception that Every now and then, I was like, I look down and say, crap, I'm speeding. Uh, uh, and I'm over eight miles over the right, speed. Right, it's not just a couple miles over. You're really worried most about being seven miles over. Yeah, uh, well, uh, seven or more, right. right. In other words, um, and that seems to be an absolute value. So if you're seven miles over in a 25-mile-an-hour zone, you're, you're good. But if you're, you know, seven miles and over in a 70-mile 70, 70 zone, you know, it's, you're still good. But the problem is you tend to go, it's, I'm glad it's not a percentage because that would probably cause me more. Because I tend to, at 35 miles an hour, though, the, the, where I have my problems is, are 35 miles an hour. I would tell you just about every time that I've taken the, taken the time to look at the map and see where I was over. It was where it's changed from 45 or 55 miles an hour down to 35. So my problem is 35 is not a good speed for me. I tend to drive faster than 35 when I'm supposed to. When I'm in residential areas at 25 or, uh, or even the downtown Fuquay at 25 miles, uh, I do fine. It's these corridors where uh, you know, you're, you're getting through them. And the speed limit's 35, like Main Street in Fuquay Verena, it's 35. It's not 45, it's actually 35, that four lane in, you know. The new Main Street, the new not Main, the old not Main the Street. Downtown, yeah, downtown's start, 25. Yeah, I don't mean to be so red, but I would just try to say is that um, I could take it off of the Y, and the net result is they wouldn't know where I'm going. Uh, well, of course, I still have my phone, uh, so they probably still know, even though it isn't monitoring, uh, if they were really spying on me. Uh, and I could get the savings on the Honda, and that's probably what's going to happen, because this next one, maybe I get a, let's say, $100 saving on the Y, which is because of the low mileage. Uh, maybe that's okay. Uh, uh, maybe I go, so well, I'll go another one. So I guess it's possible until I get back to normal driving, uh, patterns uh, or something more normal uh, I'm not I'll probably keep it because the we only take trip necessary trips uh, you know uh, pretty much you know going to the grocery store if they really want to know I go to the grocery store or uh, Walmart a lot I, I don't care uh, so I, you know if I was going off visiting friends or relatives or somebody else maybe you know that'd be different but at this point um, my meandering around town to do the things I need to get done is it's not important so it I'm not overly concerned with privacy but for three dollars and seventy seven cents any amount of privacy is it worth only saving three bucks I mean Google surveys ask me pertinent questions and they they give me more than three dollars and seventy seven cents that's right Don <laughs> has been earning more than three dollars and seventy seven cents a month through Google's opinion reward right. surveys and oh by the way I have to and right. A couple other people we've told it about, like Michelle, I think, is doing it, has, and so, yeah. So, I guess my, I can't speak to other insurance companies' programs. This one has been painless. It, it seems to work well. Um, if you have more than one car that you drive, and one of the cars doesn't get driven much, I would highly recommend you sign that car, because you, 
you don't have to sign all your cars up, nor do you have to sign all your drivers up. In other words, I'm doing it. When Marianne drives Jules, it doesn't record that trip. Right, I have not been instructed to install the app on my phone. Now, I may have Don's phone with me if I take Jules. Yeah, well, now that would be and, a bust. Right, and that's sort of a, yeah, well, yeah. but you're assuming I did something in the, I drive slower than you. Right. Overall, the chances Overall. of me being over the speed oh. limit are zero and none. But if you're next to me at the stoplight, uh, I will leave you. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I guess I talked a lot about speeding because I felt the speeding thing, let's just say it's somewhat legitimate. Uh, I do, and I accept that I go a little over, I probably drive faster than I should, and I miss slowing down at 35s and things like that. I, I admit that. So that is truly a... Thing as I said, I the only thing adjustment I've made is I try to be a little bit more careful with my speed and not go 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. Uh, I try to go five, six, seven miles over the speed limit. In fact, I've adjusted traffic aware cruise control to be two uh, because of that offset, so that I say instead of three, so I stay right there at that um, that point um, because the speedometer on, on Jules was off. Uh, it used to be two plus miles an hour off, uh, but now we've just tested it, so now I'm going to have to adjust my thinking. Basically, one mile an hour is it, the speedometer on Jules is about one mile per hour slow. So when it says I'm doing 78, I'm doing 77, and that's good. Safe and safe says you're good. You go to 78 miles an hour, I think you may be good or may be bad, but for sure 79 miles an hour, I'm going to be in trouble. So, uh, uh, I accept that the speeding it, it's crit crit it is accurate, but the other thing it dings me on all the time is stops and uh, uh, rapid accelerations and rapid... And, uh, rapid. But not in joules, in the GMC. Right? I mean, hasn't, well, yeah, it been in right. hasn't it been a lot in the GMC? Well, it, it, I actually tell you it's both. Okay, that's just the way you drive. Well, I think it's too sensitive. Okay. Uh, I don't think... It's fair to say that I have had rapid... Uh, or Jack Racket, your rabbit starts from time to time in jewels, And I don't know that I've actually slowed those down. Um, but... Um, uh, you don't have to worry. It catches every daggum one of those. So the other one, the reason I think my driving score is so uh, 77 is I think it's the um, the phone use and the acceleration and deceleration as much as the speed. I would say that those those four things, acceleration, deceleration, speed, and phone use, are all about equal to uh, parts of why. And if if I if it wasn't so sensitive on the acceleration and deceleration, I would might, you know, gain half. I'd be, you know, 12 points higher. Uh, be a, instead of a 77, maybe I'd be a 90. Uh, the speeding and the phone use, I don't know. It's hard to say because they don't tell you, we're going to ding you this much for this and this much for that. Uh, it just said, you know, you had events and you had two of these events and it showed them on the map. Uh, and things like that. So, uh... At this point, I'm going to keep it, um, but I'm still, uh, the privacy concerns is still mainly, uh, it doesn't seem like it's costing me any more money. I mean, it, four bucks is four bucks, right? It saves me four bucks, it saves me four bucks. Yeah, I, everything Don said, um, our driving habits aren't likely to go back to normal. normal. Until this coming August, when Johnny starts the 11th grade, hopefully our family and a lot of other people have been vaccinated and he can actually attend in-person school. Because he'll be at St. Augustine's University taking one uh, high school course, but the rest all college courses in the fall. It really would be better for him if he's back in person. This year didn't matter, didn't miss a beat. Yep. It's been fine. Yep. If he were going to be on the Thompson High School campus next year. I wouldn't care if he was in person, but on St. Augustine, I think he's really going to have to show up. So yeah. we could be back on the road doing 15 to 2,500 miles a month, mostly me on the road. But Don was usually picking up Johnny one afternoon a, a week. week for me so yeah. I could shop with Michelle and get a break. Yeah. And him and Johnny have some car time and 
there was pluses to that and you know if we do that I probably will be in the car with Ruby most days but I may hop in the car with Jules one day a week to have a Y experience or one afternoon a week to have a Y experience so you know then we'd be looking at you know miles and what's going on but um I agree with Dawn through the summer our driving is not likely to significantly change over the last six months which wasn't a lot which we showed when we talked about the uh, year end numbers a couple of days ago so yeah there's that and you know just as long as I don't have to bring have the app on my phone and get monitored we're good right there's already yeah. enough data in Tesla 5. Yeah, yeah. Like I, don't, really, really... I don't need somebody else looking no. at the stuff. Well, I think the difference between me and you would be I wouldn't have hardly any speeding because it chimes and I let, take my foot off and I go a couple it miles. Chimes to me too. I go, a, I I, go take my foot off. I go a couple miles over, but then we're good. But the jackrabbit starts and stops. I'm like, come on, you're driving jewels. Take yeah. off, will you? I mean, this is coming for me. Well, it's, it's, it's... <laughs> the only time, John jerks around is to avoid potholes and I've learned now when I'm playing my game not to freak out because the car does one of these numbers you yeah. know it's like okay Don's just avoiding a pothole you do that so often in Jules I'm just used to it now but well it can be scary if you're not looking at the road and the car swerves well the ex <laughs> only expense of besides the purchase price of the uh, Y that the only expense uh, greater than the insuring the Y is the tires. The tires actually cost more. <laughs> and Ruby's just about due for a set of tires. Yeah. We will not be driving, yeah. starting back driving 2,000 miles a month without putting tires on Ruby. And we probably need to get yeah. down low it's, on the ground and just yeah. check the inside tread in the back again. Yeah, Jules is uh, right now, I think the premium, I uh, just had it there, was 350 bucks for, uh, is that right? That doesn't sound right. I'm sorry. Oh, here it is. The Y. Jules for six months was three hundred and ninety-one dollars. That's the total with including the four dollar savings of three hundred and ninety-one dollars. Uh so it's uh let's say eight hundred dollars a year. Well a set of tires, um, you know, it, uh is uh, like of uh, like thirteen hundred bucks and they they last uh, you know, like twelve thousand miles. So I don't know what <laughs> tire expense or jackrabbit starts. You take your pick. You can only have two. I'm going to drive Ruby for fun. I'm sorry, Donnie. Yeah. We're just going to have to put tires on every 22 to 25,000 miles, and that's just how yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm well, sorry. Girls know, got to like, have fun in the Tesla. I calculate. I think it's like almost seven cents a mile for tires on Ruby. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll end there today. <laughs> okay. <laughs>